Good morning guys, I am in my 21st day of home quarantine and I felt so bored with my everyday routine. So I came to a point to make a video tutorial in line with my profession in which I know it could help students and crew members on board as well to understand and recall their lessons. So for today's video, I am going to teach you how to solve estimated time of arrival with zone time. So let's define first what is ETA or estimated time of arrival. ETA, it is the estimated time, um, month, days, hours, uh, and minutes in your port of destination. Arrival in your port of destination. So zone time, it is the local time on the Earth's surface calculated as plus or minus that at Greenwich or UTC, the Earth is divided into 24 hours zones of 15 degrees longitude each. So, let's start. So, how to solve ETA with zone time? So, the given is 12 October 2020. So, the departed port is Fujaira port. Departure time, 1500 hours. So, the zone time of Fujaira port is port east. So, you will find this. Now, we are in a modern technology. It is already in the computer. So, in the Admiralty digital radio signal. Or, in publication... Uh, Admiralty of Le List of Radio Signal Volume 2 Volume 2 So <clears throat> The arrival port They are expected to arrive at Nansha, China Zone time of China 8 East Distance is 5,578 nautical miles Speed of 13 knots So Missing is We will look for The estimated time of arrival So Before that We should First know the zone description so the zone description uh, i mean the zone difference zone difference zone difference so zone difference is equal to uh 4 is minus 8 is so we subtract 4 4 is so now we ask if it is add or subtract so look this scenario. So, port of Pujaira is 4 east, while port, uh, I mean 4 degrees east, zone time. And the uh, port of China is 8 degrees east. So, you are going easterly. Once easterly, best add, if, the, if you are going easterly, you add as per rule. So, if you are going westerly, let's say, for example, from Nansha, you will be arrived at Fujaira port. So, you are going westerly. If westerly, you subtract. Okay? So, this situation is add. So, now you have the zone difference already. So, this one, you will add this on your estimated time of arrival. So, to solve the ETA, we, sh we should first understand the formula so in college we we are we call this the magic triangle so if you find the speed of the vessel you just cover this one and you will find speed is equal to distance over time or distance divided by time if you fi find the time i mean the distance you you will you will multiply so speed times time so if you are looking for the time distance over speed so in our problem we are looking for the time so time is equal to d over s t is equal to the distance is 5578 nautical miles divided by 13 knots so t so using my calculator in the house so 578 divided by 13 is 429.07 so you add you add the departure time here so 15 answer is 4 plus 15 444.0 let's say 08 uh, round off 08 so you divide so we we will divide this in 24 why 
because in one day there are 24 hours so we convert this one in in days so t is equal to divided by 24 so there is 18.50 days so there is 18 days so plus you add this the departure date which is 12 you get 30.50 so we, we will just get the 30 so 30 of October minus 30 so we already get this one so let's get 0.50 in hours so 0.50 in hours you will just add uh, you will just multiply it in 24 to convert it into hours so 12 hours so times 24 12 hours so don't forget the so this is the time you will add the zone difference so don't forget this one plus 4 is so 16 so you will expected to arrive at at Nansha China on October 30, 2020 at 1600 hours so understood that simple so you could make this also in this matter so t is equal to distance 5578 divided by 13 t is equal to 5578 divided by 13 so 429.07 So divided by this one divided by 24 so 17 Ay, it's 12 sorry divided by 24 t is equal to 17.87 days so minus 17.87 so the point 87 you will times it in 24 to convert it in hours so times 24 equals 20.88 hours and then 0.88 times 60 to convert it into minutes fifty three minutes Fifty three minutes uh, thirty five so thirty five minus twenty four because there is there is only twenty four hours in one day so twenty plus fifteen is thirty five minus twenty four it's eleven so you add the one day here so it's thirty twelve twelve plus one plus uh, twelve plus one plus seventeen is thirty. So, of October 2020. And then, you add the, the zone difference of 4 is to the hours. So, 30 October 2020, 15, 53 minutes. So, approximately 30 October 2020, 16 hours. I mean, hours. Hours. So, it's just the same.